Good morning class. Today I am going to lecture on an obscure passage in the Critique of Pure Reason. To understand this lecture you will probably need a PhD in philosophy with a focus on Kant. Kant is the best philosopher. I think the categorical imperative is brilliant. Please write me a letter of recommendation for law school because I have said something irrelevant. You are just an undergrad. You do not understand Kant or the categorical imperative like I do. I spent my whole career writing papers for academic journals that no one reads. My views on Kant are intelligent and original. You have clearly been reading too much from the Stanford Encyclopedia of Philosophy and Wikipedia. I have read all of Kant's work. My essays and books on Kant are indisputable. Can you please elaborate on the difference between analytic and synthetic judgments? No I will not. You clearly did not do all the reading I assigned. You were supposed to read 100 pages of primary text. The two articles I posted to be space and 80 pages from the reader that you overpaid for. I have a question about the upcoming paper. I tried to see you in office hours but you were not there. I was working on important research for my upcoming paper that critiques the critique of a paper written by one of my colleagues. I wanted to clarify what the prompt is asking me to write about. I am willing to put in the work necessary to get an A. Oh you would like an A? Your paper must completely address the question asked in the prompt. Your paper must be original and relevant, and your paper cannot exceed three pages. Also I think it is worth mentioning I never award people with A's anyway. You are just an undergrad, you cannot write an A paper. If you, do not award, A's do you curve the glass? No this is philosophy. No one will receive anything higher than an A-.